Gentlemen, what was your favorite part about shooting this movie? About shooting my, f my favorite part about shooting this movie. I, I actually love being up on the 13th floor elevator. And because uh, it was a, it was a, it was one of the few times where I felt like I was outside rather than inside. I was, uh, I was up in the sky, but I wasn't. I was working with uh, Hera Hilmar, and that was an absolute pleasure. Uh, but we were also rolling around fighting for like two days, and it was exhausting. And uh, and it, but I felt very alive, so that was a pretty, that was a pretty good time. Steven? For me? Yeah. Lunch. <laughs> Lunch is a, it's a good it's one. It's always good, but that's a very generic answer. Isn't it? No, uh, you know, it was to uh, try. I just enjoyed trying to bring Shrike to to life and trying to elicit uh, sighs of approval <laughs> from from my director and and crew. You know, trying to align my vision with the vision of the animators. Uh, just trying to find my place where Shrike fit into this world because he's so. He's so isolated. He's such an isolated character, such a lonely character, it seems to me. Can you yeah. actually each talk a little bit about your character and the part they play in this epic fantasy? Uh, Shrike is, uh, uh, is really an outsider. He's the oldest creature uh, on this planet at this point. He's been around for a long time. He's, he's, he's far outlived his function. Uh, one other character in one of the books, not in the film, says of Shrike, you know, the problem with him is that he's far more complicated than is good for him, which is, which is absolutely true because he was designed, he's a resurrected man. He's, a, he's hardwiring put into the shell of a human and he was designed to kill, but that function is long gone and he finds himself uh, experiencing uh, very discomforting feelings of, uh, of, of caring. <laughs> what about you, Hugo? Well, uh, what was the question again? It was the character uh, you play. Yeah, uh, and just explain and sort of more their, about... their part in the world. Yeah, the part in the world, yeah. So Thaddeus Valentine is a... He's the chief archaeologist on the city of London. And that sounds like he's a fusty, dusty old historian or something. But of course, uh, in this world, it means he's actually an adventurer. He gets off London. He flies away from London. And he, he brings back old technologies to repurpose them and make them useful to the city of London. As a consequence, he has some very, very important uh, technologies that he's brought to London, which will enable London perhaps to... Uh, bring themselves into a better future. Uh, so he's a very powerful man. He's a charismatic figure. He's uh, he's quite a dashing romantic figure as presented. But at some stage, the persona of uh, Valentine and the undercurrents, the darker undercurrents, which have been sort of set in his past sometime, that they are going to have to come come through and come out. He's he's very strong-willed and he has a very strong sense of the geopolitics of the world in which he lives and he wants to change that. What are you most excited for audiences to experience with this film? Uh, I guess the I guess to see the totality of the world and really with this film we're only seeing one part of it as well. We're we're on we're on part of the world that was Europe. It's called the Great Hunting Grounds. We spend most of our time in this film in the Great Hunting Grounds. Sometimes down in the sea of what, where, where does Shrike first? I can't remember. Yeah, so, what's so it we're, called? We're down there a bit, we're, but but we're we're in old Europe. We're in smashed up Europe. But in this oh, world, there the are there are many something. many other other worlds that we haven't yet seen. So I think the exciting thing is the totality of that world and and all the different cultures that exist within that world, whether they're up in the sky or behind the wall, or mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and these. Uh, these intrepid young people who uh, will don't accept the fact that uh, the world is so dark, that the world is so dog-eat-dog, -dog, who are out to carve a, uh, a decent and uh, bright future for themselves. Uh, you know, I like that a lot. I always like a good story like that.